Hi, today I'll talk about 708, inserting into a cyclic sorted list. So given a nod from a circular linked list, so we're, here we have it, a nod in a circular um, ring list to the diagram to the left here, sorted, which is sorted in an ascending order, write a function to insert a value, insert a val into the list such that it remains a sorted circular array. The given node can be a reference to any single node in the list and as we can see here it is 134 but the reference is number 3 in this case and may not be necessarily the smallest value, value in the circular list and we can establish that from the diagram here. If there are multiple suitable places for insertions you may choose any place to insert the new value so we can deal with this with an if statement after the insertion, the circular list should remain sorted. So we have to make sure that whatever we decide to insert the value, that this list is still in ascending order sorted. If the list is empty, you should create a new circular list and return the reference to that single note. Okay, I keep this here so you can see how a node is initiated. It has two things. It has uh, a value and it has the next. To be pointed at. So initially this would look like this. The val comes in here and the dot next whatever it's referencing comes here. So then you initially have a linked list which is what we see up here. Okay so we start we call this our solution and we define insert and the insert takes itself and the head and the value to be inserted so if we see here we have the head so whichever is the head is it three is it four is it one and the value to be inserted so let's say two let's say we want to insert two okay so there will be two here and the head is the start that they want us to look at so the first thing we want to do is let's take care of this corner case if the last is if the list is empty to check if the list is empty we simply write in python if not head so if not head that means it's empty then simply create a new node and as you can see here this is the node and pass the insert valve and the next is none since it will be the only node in the list. Next, the since this is a circular list, so the new node.next will simply be the new node. So it will be a circular list pointing to itself, and you want to return this new node. So what we've done here is we've taken care of this corner case, and now we're finished. So if the head is empty, the actual node will be will create a circular linked list with itself. Otherwise, uh, let's create something called original head equal head, which maintains the value. Since we will be iterating, we want to know where did we start so we can check if perhaps this is the only node so, or perhaps we're coming towards the end. So we need to keep track of where we are in the list. Now let's start iterating while head. So while there are values in the head, we have to find the position of where we should insert and it explicitly said that it has to remain a sorted list so we can say if head dot next dot val so if we're here number three if the head which is right here dot next then it's talking about number four dot val if this number four is bigger than the head dot val so is this value bigger than this value in our case yes it is you want to check if the insert val which is in our case number two is this insert val bigger than or equal to the head dot val well it's number two so no it's actually not but we want to check something else we want to also make sure that the insert val is smaller than the head dot next dot val and we basically want to know if it fits right here in the middle so we're writing a condition to check that it's bigger than number three 
and smaller than number four. In this case, it's not. So we keep that for now. Let's 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 keep this open for now, and I'm gonna tell you what goes in here. So let's write the next check. If the head dot next dot val is smaller than the head dot val, so in this case we can. This will happen in the next node, so we'll be checking this right here. If it is smaller, then you can simply check if the insert val is bigger than or equal to the head dot val, or the insert val is smaller than or equal to the head dot next dot val. I'll be jumping an example here. Um, so let's take a look at the side here. If let's pretend we have now shifted our head here. If the head dot next dot val is smaller than the head dot val. In this case, it is yes. You see this here is actually smaller. Right. You want to check if the inserted value in our case number two is bigger than or equal to the head val. Actually, it's not. Or the insert dot val is smaller or equal to the head not dot next dot val and it's actually not so we're testing this condition here and this condition fails and this and we just want to make sure that um, we're checking at the end of the ascending order are we at the end if we are at the end of the ascending order then does the value fit in here in our case actually it doesn't then we can do a final presumption is is the head dot next actually the only node in this list so if it equals the original head um, and in this case it's not we know there are several otherwise if all of these conditions fail then just iterate to the next one okay but what do we do if it meets this condition I would actually like you to break out of this for loop and keep a record of which head did you actually manage to find where this fits now let's go through this loop together so we have established that number two doesn't fit here and it doesn't fit here. And then it says head.next, so we're going to go to the next head. So this is going to be our new head. And let's check the first condition. If head.next.val is bigger than the head.val, actually it's not. So we're skipping the second condition. Next x, next condition. If elif the head.text.val is smaller then the head.val, actually, yes, it is smaller. If the insert.val is bigger, then the head.val, is it bigger? Actually, yes, it is bigger. So uh, we believe that number two will fit here. So we have a number two fit here. So break. And when it breaks, it's going to take the reference to this node number one with it. You can also break here. So break in Python will basically exit this while loop and what you want to do when you exit this while loop you want to say head dot next so this guy here is your current head and you want to say that this head not next instead of it pointing it to here you want to actually point it to this one so the first thing that you have to do is create a node which we will do which is right here node and it takes in the val in this case our val is the insert val and our next, in our case, we would like the next to be the next of our current head. So that will be head dot head dot next. Like that. So we would like to insert the head dot next into this place here. So now it's inserted as a new node. And then we want to return the set. Okay. And when we run our solution, we see that we are 88% um, faster and we use less space than 100%. So let's look at the complexity of this. Since we actually do it in place, we don't create anything new. So our space complexity is a one. That's why on lead code it said uh, we have 100%. The time complexity, the worst time complexity will actually be O of N since we have to iterate on every node to find the best or optimum solution, optimum position, sorry. Thank you for watching.